Cannes, France, AP, the Cannes Film Festival rolled out the red carpet for the first time in more than two years on Tuesday, launching the French Riviera Spectacular with the premiere of Leo's Caraxes, Annette, the introduction of Spike Lee's Jury, and with high hopes for shrugging off a punishing pandemic year for cinema. The 74th Cannes opened Tuesday with as much glitz as it could summon, led by Annette, a fantastical musical starring Adam Driver and Marion Cotillard and scored by the musical duo Sparks. The opening ceremony also returned last year's Palme d'Or winner, Bong Joon-ho, for Parasite and Jodie Foster, who first came to Cannes as a 13-year-old with Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver for an honorary Palme. The occasion drew a wide spectrum of film luminaries back to Cannes to celebrate the festival, cancelled last year due to the COVID-19 virus. Pedro Almodovar, Jessica Chastain, Helen Mirren and Bella Hadid walked the red carpet, which was again lined with tuxedoed photographers and surrounded by eager onlookers. So it feels good to go out, said Foster in French. Vive la France, declared Lee. The festival was officially declared open by Bong, Almodovar, Foster and Lee, in a mix of Korean, Spanish, French and English. Over the next 10 days, the Cannes Film Festival will try to resuscitate global cinema on a grand scale. Cannes has pushed ahead in much its usual form, with splashy red carpet displays and a lineup of many of the world's most revered filmmakers, including Ashgar Farhadi, Wes Anderson, Mia Hansen Love and Paul Verhoeven. Festival goers are tested every 48 hours, seated shoulder to shoulder and masked for screenings. Lee, who is heading the jury that will decide this year's Palm, arrived earlier in the day wearing a 1619 baseball hat and trying to keep a low profile. I'm not trying to be a hog, he said to reporters, urging them to ask his fellow jurors questions. But Lee's presence was hard to ignore. His face is Mars Blackman from his 1986 feature film debut, She's Gotta Have It, which premiered at Cannes, adorns this year's poster at the festival's central hub, the Palais des Festivals. Lee is the first black person to ever lead Cannes' prestigious jury. In his first comments, in response to a question from Chaz Ebert, widow of Roger Ebert, Lee spoke about how little has changed since 1989's, Do the Right Thing, which made a controversial debut at Cannes. When you see brother Eric Garner, when you see King George Floyd murdered, lynched, I think of Ray, Radio, Raheem, Lee said, referring to the, do the right thing, character. After 30 plus years, you'd think and hope, Lee said, that black people would have stopped being hunted down like animals. Much of the talk on Tuesday at Cannes centered on injustice and survival. That the festival was even happening, after last year's edition was cancelled, was a surprise to some.